I try and keep everything in one theme in this workshop. When I cut the uh, bench top over there for the kitchen sink, this was the offcut. Obviously it didn't come out neat like that. I shaped it to do all this. And in there goes my Craig Foreman. Now, this isn't my Craig Foreman, that's Barry. What's, <laughs> what's Barry doing here? The Foreman, that's what I was going to put in there. So it was a little bit of mucking around to fit this, but I got there in the end. There we go. So here it is. This is the Craig Foreman in the little unit that I built, the roll around storage box unit, and this is great. This particular machine, the Craig Foreman, runs on compressed air. So it's a pneumatic drill, and it also has a pneumatic uh, clamp at the top here. It fires down as soon as I put a piece of timber there, holds it down, the drill comes up from underneath. So I'm making a few cabinets, and all of the pocket holes that I want to do are the same size. So I'm using the same size screw. This thing is fantastic. If I'm wanting to use it for, you know, a couple of holes here and there, not as good, I'd rather use the K4 or the K5, but we're getting off the subject a little bit. I built this unit, that little hole there, to take this machine here. Now I can show it to you in action, and you'll probably want to see that. So I've got a little bit of melamine, and before I, before I actually use it, I'll show you how easy it is to slide it around. This is my table saw and the router table unit that I built. Everything's the same height. I can slide it right the way through there. I can slide it back onto the table saw on that side. Through I come. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now the, I, the whole thing with this machine is that it's got little swing stops here as well, so I can set widths uh, or distances from the end, so I can do repetitive work without actually measuring. I've set it up for 16 millimetre uh, thick melamine, and for the particular screw that it's going to go with, now watch this clamp here, as it pushes down onto there, I've got it against that swing stop, it will do a pocket hole. Done. That wasn't too hard. So there you see, there's the pocket hole right there, and it's ready to take the screw, and it comes out right in the centre. That's what it's all about. Now I can slide this along, I've got perfect support on the end here, it's not going anywhere do one at the other end if I want. And there we go, pocket hole either end. Now if I want to do one in the middle, those little guys slip up out of the way and I can just put it anywhere I want. You watch this, I'll put five in. There we go. Pretty amazing. I love it. So there we go, that's the Craig Foreman and I'll show you a little bit of video of the uh, clamp coming down and firing up. I'll do it now, as a matter of fact. I'm going to cheat it a little bit. I'm going to slide that up to the edge so you can see the pneumatic drill coming up and also the clamp going down at the same time. I'll do a bit of slow-mo, but first of all, I'll show you normal speed. <laughs> How cool is that? Uh, now I'll show you the slow-mo. What do you think about that? That's amazing, isn't it? Anyway, uh, great unit. It was great fun to build. And the next uh, episode I do, hopefully, I'm going to do one where I'm showing the... I'll grab this guy here. This is the, uh, this is the blank that I've got that drops in here when the Craig Foreman's not there. So I'll be showing a trimmer mounted in this and dropped into there where the Craig Foreman goes. And... Uh, it will be just for doing roundovers and things like that with a little bearing uh, guided quarter inch roundover cutter. That might be great. Thanks for watching. See you next time.